So imagine you have <laughs> Freddy and Jason. Jason might initially seem like a stronger choice because he is not a child p <laughs> and his face is not so readily disfigured. But let me tell you, looks fade to the background over the course of a long relationship. <laughs> what really matters is your ability to connect and experience true intimacy. And you'll never see that behind a mask. You'll never see that with some guy who's always obsessed with his hockey mask. You're not playing hockey. This is love. <laughs> Freddie can go into your dreams. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. You'll never get that with Jason. Superficial. He's killing five, six people at the uh, summer camp retreat a week. It's personal with Freddie. He cares. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. All right. Precious, you have one minute. Okay. Now. I get that Freddy Krueger would be a good lover. He, he would be good to, as a babysitter. But <laughs> Jason, strong and silent type, he has one job, and that is to love you. <laughs> you know he has a big, fat dick. <laughs> and a cottage. <laughs> that you can stay at. <laughs> Freddy Krueger would be like dating a comedian who's always trying out his bits on you and dresses like a sad, aged hipster. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and you know his dick looks like a shriveled piece of bacon and that's why he talks so much. <laughs> I like I like Jason. I, I like someone, a man with mystery. I like someone who is just always there, hovering around in the, in the background. Freddy Krueger, get out of my dreams and into my car to drive away. I just wanted to say that. All right. Thank you, Precious. All right, Sebastian, you have 30 seconds to respond, starting now. You had to be so with a big Jason has a big dick? I don't recall this ever being confirmed. I will tell you that the man needs power tools to get the job done. <laughs> These are a crutch in a relationship. You need to be able to use your hands to satisfy your woman and or kill people, but that's, that's aside the point. <laughs> and his style, Freddy, is vintage. <laughs> He's not chasing trends every year with a new Halloween movie like some bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. Precious, you have the last word, starting right now. Uh, Freddy Krueger is like a wannabe rapper. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Vanilla Ice. He's like a Yuck Yucks road comic in his 50s still living with his parents. He doesn't have a place to live. That's why he's always haunting your dreams. J Jason has a big cock, you can tell. <laughs> this woman over there went nodded in agreement. <laughs> we know. And he does sports. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Sports. Woo sports. All right. Now you, the audience, get to decide. Do you agree with Sebastian Chow that the vintage sensitive scissor fingery type gotta, uh, is the way to go? <laughs> and Freddie is, is the better lover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or do you agree with Precious that uh, we like jocks and uh, yeah! Jason is the better lover despite his weird mommy issues. <laughs> All right, Precious wins.